It's like a really cloudy day. You don't get a lot of these here in Seoul, so I gotta treasure it. I'm gonna just keep the lights off, set the mood. I don't know, play some video games, do some meditation. Tomorrow is a huge food day. I'm meeting up with a couple people. They're gonna show me around to their local favorite spots. So today I think I'm just gonna stay in and maybe walk around the local area, find something to eat, and I would actually just stay home, but unfortunately the only thing resembling food is these guys, so let's go find something to eat. I really don't wanna eat too much for lunch. And there's this great little neighborhood right behind my Airbnb that has all sorts of grocery stores and little mom and pop shops. Let's see if we can find something good to eat. Huh, I used to live there. This place is all pizzas. <laughs> Actually, it looks pretty good. Korean pizzas are, for the lack of a better word, insane. Like, so bizarre, but so good. I know I was trying to find something that's kind of light. Um, I was hoping to find, like, maybe some sort of soup or something, but this is the second pizza place I passed by. Food guys must be trying to tell me something, so get a pizza. Okay, although I got a pizza, you guys can be proud of me once you see what I got. And while I'm waiting for the pizza to get here, a big shout out to a new partner of the channel. Once I find a really nice pair of shoes or a really nice shoe brand I like, I stick with it. And I think, might have found my favorite shoe brand, Bessie. And this is 100% honest feedback. I've been wearing these shoes for the past week. Love them, my favorite pair of shoes. I went ahead and got a second pair and now there's a third pair I want. I'm gonna order with my own money. First of all, I think they're stylish. This is what my what my old pair of shoes look like. They kind of look similar to these new Vessi shoes, but what's great about these Vessi shoes is that they are 100% waterproof. Not only that, they're also sandproof, slush proof. They got a really good grip as well. These things are perfect because you guys know how much I love the rain. I love watching the rain when I'm sitting indoors. I love taking walks in the rain. The problem with all my shoes is that after that, walk my feet sweat and there's really not many things worse than wet shoes and wet socks but with these not only are they great looking don't have to worry about that problem anymore to make sure they are waterproof i actually took a pair and put it under a faucet for a while just to make sure their claim is accurate look at this and they're incredibly comfortable once i switched out my old pair of shoes with the new vessi shoes been wearing them ever since also they're super easy to clean you can toss them into your washer plus they're made from dimatex a dual climate net that means they keep cool in the summer and warm in the winter it's pretty cold right now these always work. Also in the process of making them, there's less water waste and no animal byproducts. So if you want to grab a pair for the rainy season, they have an incredible Black Friday offer right now. All you got to do is click on the link below. And if you missed a Black Friday sale, no worries. You can use my promo code Mikey. You're going to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. Can't get wet. Dry socks. That's a big deal. Okay, I think my pizza's almost here. Okay, I told you guys you'd be a little proud of me, right? I got half veggie pizza. That's a start, right? I'm trying here. I'm trying. Half veggie, and then the other half is potato and bacon. They cancel each other out, right? So, I'm really eating nothing. This is some cheesy pizza. Honestly, I didn't expect much because I'm in some tiny middle nowhere neighborhood eating at this random pizza shop. This is spectacular pizza. You saw how cheesy it is. That's real cheese, that's no powdery stuff. The bottom, nice and thin and toasty. Ingredients are delicious. Love the freshness of the tomatoes, the greens, the olives. I'm so shocked by this. This is great pizza. Even though it's a salad pizza? Hmm. I've only had pizza a couple times so far in South Korea. This is my favorite. I would actually really recommend this place. Potato wedges, slices of bacon, onions, chilies in here as well, making it a little bit spicy. I'm coming back here. This pizza shop is great. Early dinner time. I always like swimming by the uh, local sea and see what they have available. And this is a strawberry chocolate sandwich with a slice of cheese in the middle. This actually happens a lot in Korean food. A lot of times you go to dessert places, ice cream, it's always cheese. It's actually pretty darn good. My favorite dessert in South Korea has been this avocado ice cream covered in shredded cheese. If you're ever in Korea, here, get this. I don't eat pudding all that often, but these are sent down from the pudding gods themselves. Mmm, I like tasting pure silk. Wow. Two for two today with my food selections. And this is a little, I think coffee ice cream. It's like really, really milky ice cream. 
this is all right. But this, oh, I love this. I'll say that a pizza, best find of the day. These are sort of the days I enjoy most where I really don't have to travel too far, just go downstairs, go to my lo local neighborhood, just explore a little bit, find eateries that weren't originally on my research list, and then just being pleasantly surprised. And that's why staying longer at a place you really love is so important. You wouldn't be able to do this if I was just here for like a week or two weeks, but now I actually get to really enjoy the city. All right, I'm gonna eat my dessert and watch this movie called Holiday on Netflix. Like a good rom-com. It sounds like a rom-com. Hope it's a rom-com. All right, see you guys tomorrow. What's up, buddy? Starting out the day well, I'm here in Sinchon and uh, my friend Thomas he told me he told me a bunch of spots and of place to eat and so and this place this what's this called Tanguksu. and it's hot pot and then noodles and then fried yes. rice yes all in the same pot that's amazing i'm gonna add the meat in so you switch it around like a shabu and then the noodles are supposed to go in and then the fried everything you want in your asian life could be found in this pot Give you a little dip in sauce. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Little wasabi, little soy, that's all you need for the thin slices of fatty beef. This thing is so fresh. All the veggies are incredibly fresh. The meat is tender, it's thin, it's great. Flavor is excellent. I'm really excited for the noodles. As much as I love hot pot, I love hot pot. I'm so excited to see what the noodles gonna taste like because all that great flavor from the meat and everything is boiled down. That noodle is gonna be excellent. And then I can't even imagine the fried rice. It's like peeling delicious onion. Each layer is gonna get something great. Noodle time. That's fantastic. All that great flavor of the soup soaked in. Mm. And it's chewy. Like these are actually really nice noodles. You think they make this? Free refill of noodles? Really? Oh, that's amazing. No way. And this is all for like 13,000 per person, right? So that's like around $10. Basically all you can eat noodles. All right, we're a little, little low on noodles and soup, so we're gonna ask for more of both, and they'll bring it. All right, round two on the noodles. Thanks, Thomas. I really like this place. Now it's like my go-to place now. These are really good noodles. I'm really happy that they don't use just store-bought noodles. These are actually fresh, super delicious noodles. Noodles round three. So we're at the final part, the fried rice. And I love how they smother it, like just smash it to the bottom of the wok so that you get that nice crunch. That might be the best one. Like best out of the three stages. I had so much flavor in this fried rice. Mm. Oh, that perilla leaf is amazing. Slight little toasty crisp from the bottom. Mm. It's all about that perilla leaf and also that leftover meat soup. Wish we can get out a little bit of that. That'd be cool. 13,000 won. Thomas, thank you so much again for taking me over here. This has been awesome. Welcome. Really good place. Yeah, thank you so good. much. Just got a couple packages from the US. The dumpling bay with a little bubble tea to match the other dumpling. A shao mai. <laughs> Big show my new to the dumpling family. If you want to complete your dumpling family, this is big, by the way. I like this. Big show my is better than a small show my, you know. This is a really cool milk tea place. Um, so there's still a bunch of samples of tea you can buy. Some alcoholic milk teas as well. I have no idea what I ordered. It just said best beside it, so that's just what I got. Oh, 
all, that's just a cup of heaven. I've never had milk tea as smooth as this before. Mm. If you want to, you know, just in general, get some lesson in how to, how to be smooth in life, come and ask this tea. Pretty sure it holds all the answers to all that is smooth. Mm. This is like Morgan Freeman's voice. Pure silky velvet. Wow, maybe one of the best milk teas I've ever had in my life. Wow, they're making ice sculptures. I finally got here. This place, I've been trying to get in here for days. Every single time I'm here, it's lying out the door. I'm here about 30 minutes before they open. Hopefully I can get in. We still see what they serve. I just put my name in. Don't be like me, I was standing there like a moron. And then people start just cutting in front of me and putting their name in that in that machine. Put your name there as soon as possible. And while we're waiting, a little background. So apparently there's two guys from Jeju, they came here and they made this place. So this is the pork katsu place. And if you've ever been to Jeju, they're known for their pork. And apparently this place, that's where you get your tickets to hog heaven. Right through there. So this place didn't show up in any one of my research, but I just happened to walk by because it's kind of close to my hotel. It's literally right across the street and I keep seeing lines of people every single day. Sitting at the bar and they, they give me this. So there's udon, soba, tonkatsu, and there's curry. I'm gonna try to get some katsu, I'm gonna try to get some cold soba too. Also, I'm really happy the way I'm seated. So I'm at the bar, and the space beside me is empty. So even though this restaurant is super crowded, a little distance is nice. All right, this looks spectacular. This is the most popular dish I see most people ordering here. This is what I got. The cutlet is perfectly cooked, crispy on the outside, juicy and pink in the middle. Pour sauce over it, this is the salad. And what they told me to do was to first try some with just a bit of salt and wasabi, and I can also dip it into the katsu sauce. And then with it, a little bit of miso soup and rice. Wow. Mm, super so good. And a wedge of lemon for the pork and also for the salad. Got soba as well. Come on, you can't just give one thing. Outside skin looks perfect. Inside, just landscape of juicy pink. Absolute perfection. A little salt, a little wasabi. I'm not gonna be able to do this flavor justice by describing it, but I'll try. That was one of the most multi-layered, simple yet complex bites of katsu I've ever taken. First of all, outside, again, perfectly crispy. The breading just disintegrates as soon as you crunch down on it. But the inside, that's the juicy affair. No gaminess from the pork whatsoever. As I'm chewing, maybe about like the fourth chew, another flavor hits, just like the, just the greatest, cleanest, pork flavor fills my mouth and completely overtakes but soothes my taste buds with just the most wonderful clean porky flavor sauce mm. that is what the rice is for the sauce has a strong umami flavor so if you choose to dip it in a sauce you can for sure eat it with the rice because there is that much flavor there i think though for me a little salt a little wasabi that's all i need Really doesn't get much more perfect than that. This is one of the most amazing katsu places I've ever been to. Highly recommend it. Must, must, must try a place. Mm. It's almost inconceivable how good this is. I could have easily done another order of this. Gotta take a look at my soba. My soba is perfect. This place, everything they do, it's with such precision. This soba is at its peak deliciousness. The broth is good. I feel like it's a tad sweet. So next time I probably get like a dip in soba. If I had any complaint, that would be it. No, I usually I just play the costume. So if you're a big eater like me, I don't think this is gonna be enough. So maybe order two orders of this or do what I did. Or just get a noodle on top of your meat. Either way, you're gonna be very happy with what you get. Well, that was good. And again, great thing is, 
right across the street from my hotel. So we'll do a round two at some point. All right, it's getting late and uh, I gotta go meet a friend for dinner. Seriously. All right, this place looks pretty amazing. Massive bowl of mala tang here. This is basically a uh, cooked up hot pot. It's like a mini version of hot pot. Me and Alice. <laughs> Alice and I have been eating for like a week. This is what, this is like seven pounds or something. And you get your own dipping sauce and that's it. Ready to go, let's do it. All right, this looks amazing. And we got some guo bao rou, which is crispy fried sweet and sour pork. I just want to say, the staff working here is the nicest I've met in Korea. Nicest. Such a nice person. Wow. Oh, that's good. Soup base, a little peanutty. Very nummy, very spicy. At the same time, extremely flavorful. I don't even think I need this dipping sauce. This is so good. <laughs> that is a crispy sweet sour pork. Nice tart flavor. I like my guavaro to be really sour. I want it to make me pucker up. That did it. This place is amazing. I love mala tom. One of my all-time favorite dishes. <coughs> It's just a different incantation of hot pot, you know? The flavor's already cooked in. <coughs> wow. That well, spice gets you. And you don't really even need the dipping sauce for this. That flavor steep through good. So basically, you get all the vegetables and ingredients you want that goes in here. Then you go to the counter and they basically ask you if you want to add some fatty beef, which you always should, and spam. <laughs> dipping sauce makes it even better. So good. This is amazingly good. I need an apron. I need to protect myself. This thing won't get messy. Got a prep. 100% get the gobaro here. The swing sour pork here. Equally fantastic. That's a good dumpling too. Korean dumpling and a Chinese mala tang. That's a good pairing. Chinese people don't just eat hot pot and hot pot like dishes to like take care of our hunger. We eat as part entertainment. This is how we socialize. That's it. It's over. Finished. Good. Dessert. 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 Yo, this place looks so popular. This waffle shop. I'm telling you guys, waffles in this country is amazing. I think it's been sitting there a little longer. I don't think this is fresh, but if this was fresh, it'd be much better. Right now, just okay. Right by that mediocre waffle shop. They make the waffles actually fresh for you. Look at that, it's right next to each other. This would have been so much better, I'm sure. That's some colorful stuff. Oh, which one you want? We should get that one. Yeah. That's good. Little pieces. Wow, look at this. Is that an egg? This country, one characteristic is there's so many great cafes. So just wandering around and found this place that serves all sorts of quiches and egg tarts in the front. And this is what they recommended, the, the Little Forest Egg Tart. This thing is crusted with sugar. It's like a creme brulee egg tart. That is incredible. That blueberry is great. There's like a nice creamy blueberry mousse in the middle. I want a crumbly cookie crust. This place is a good find. Much better than stale waffles. Funny box. Why is this box funny? <laughs> Hello kitty, hand cleanup gel. It was kind of exhilarating. <laughs> it was like my last 5,000 won. What can I buy with it? Hello kitty hand sanitizer. Okay, so this sign says no no swimming, I assume. That means at some point, 
so, someone tried to swim in this little fountain. <laughs> anyway, South Korea has tons of these little parks and little walkways all throughout the city. It's so peaceful just to walk around, whether in the daytime or at night. Also, it's extremely, extremely safe country. So there's like zero hesitations for anybody to just walk around, and especially on a day where the weather is perfect like today, it's so nice.